Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. As the title says above, this is going to be my June wrap-up and my July TBR, and though we are like halfway done with July, I still wanted to make this video. So um, we're going to start off with the things that I said I wanted to read and then go into the things i'm going to read for july or basically have started reading um so starting off with june wrap up so i got through all but one book that i wanted to read for the month of june which is great um thumbs up so the first book i said i wanted to read was bread of angels by tessa Abshaw. i read it i loved it lydia is one of those people from the bible that i enjoy but i don't really hear much about um but reading this just excited me, and because Paul was in it, it was really interesting, and I just loved everything. I loved it. I loved it. The schemes, the betrayal, the romance, the hurt. It was good. I'm going to have an actual, like, video review for this book coming, so, yeah. Next book I said I wanted to read was uh, by Connie Lynn Cassette, and that was Until the Mountains Fall. I did read it. I just read the E-Arc. Um, you, if you didn't see my reading vlog, you can click the on screen for that. But I did enjoy this. I gave this four stars. Four, yeah, four stars. Um, I enjoyed Malachi and Rivka. They're really, really cute. But I wasn't as attached to them as I am to Mariah and Etienne or Ethan or whatever his name is. But yeah, it was cute. It was a cute romance. I enjoyed it a lot. The next book I said I wanted to read was again by Kylie Lynn Cassette, and that is Counted with the Stars. And I did read this. Loved loved me some kia and Evan. oh kia and Eben, Eben, Eben. i don't know but they're just so stinking cute i love them like seriously i love them so much so um i gave this 4.5 stars like i really really enjoyed this so much i couldn't give it five but i gave it 4.5 this was really good um that's what i'm gonna say because i got a, a, a video coming on yeah good book next i said i wanted to read the screw tape letters by c.s lewis and i did um, I read, read it in the bind up, but I did read Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis. I am going to be going back to annotate. Um, and let me just show you guys the annotate and I was doing. Uh, so I started off just underlining and then went and, yeah, I went in and just was going crazy. The S and C. I have my bookmark here because this is where I stopped. I need to just go back and, um, add my colors. Because all I've been doing is just underlining. So, I still have to go back and annotate. But I did read it. I gave it five stars. This is really, really good. It's considered Christian fiction. Um, which I definitely get. But I am I consider it Christian nonfiction. Just because even though it is fictional. And it is basically um, letters from letters between demons on how they tempt us. It is very, very impactful. Very, very relatable. Very real. And um, it's so good. I highly recommend. If you're looking for a read... <sighs> I, I wouldn't even say that because this is a little bit of a difficult read. I found myself having to read chapters over and over to get a full understanding because it is so hard. It got so serious, you guys, that I went on Spark Notes. And if you guys went to college, you know about Spark Notes. Um, yeah, I went on Spark Notes just to help me fully understand because that's how difficult of a read it was. But it was so good, so beneficial, so empowering, and I enjoyed it so much. So the School Tape Letters, five star writing for me, highly recommend it. The last book I said I wanted to read was this one, which I didn't read, which is Own Your Every Day by Jordan Lee Dooley. I didn't get a chance to get to this book, unfortunately, but this was a part of my July TBR. So let's get into my July TBR now. Okay, so for July, I only had two fictional books that I really wanted to read, and they were a part of Connie Lynn's cassette, Out from Egypt. Like I told you guys, I read it, I read Counted with the Stars in June, and I gave it 4.5 stars, and then I went in with Shadow of the Storm, which is book two. I gave this four stars, only because Shira pissed me off. And it only got four stars, honestly, because of Kia and Eben and Jumo. Like, literally, that's it. If it wasn't for Jumo, I'm not even gonna lie, if it wasn't for Jumo, this probably would have been like a 3.5. But because Kia, Evan, and Jumo were in this, I loved it. This was so sad. Um, very heartbreaking. But I enjoyed Shira and oh my god, who's the guy that she was with? I don't even remember the guy's name. What is his name? I'm going to find it. It's not Evan. Ayo. Oh, he is so freaking sweet. 
he did make me mad at some points like al really made me mad but i don't even know why i'm even reviewing this right now because it's being a wrap up so yeah shout out the storm next book i said i wanted to read was wings of the wind and i'm just gonna tell you guys now i gave this five stars just, five stars that no other questions this was my favorite from the whole series and i kind of knew it was going to be my favorite only because this included um mariah who is the main character of the other series which is called the cities of refuge which i love but this also included rayhead so five stars then I had four non-fiction um, Christian books on my list. So, of course, the first was Jordan Lee Dooley's uh, Own Your Every Day. I did read this. Um, I started out um, marking it when I first started reading. Like, I literally started marking it up. But um, I quickly lost interest in this book. I'm not going to lie. There wasn't a lot of scripture for me. And um, when it comes to my Christian non-fiction, especially self-help, stuff like this, I don't mind your personal stories, but I need you to give me a lot of scripture. I'm sorry. I need scripture for you to back it up. And for me, this just... I don't know. <laughs> it's not that I didn't like it. I just... I could relate to it in the beginning, and then it fell off for me towards the end. I hope that makes sense. So, Next book on my list was Lies Girls Believe by Donna Grush. Oh, read this already. It's so cute. I think it's amazing this is literally like the baby version of lies young woman believe i enjoyed this so much i did mark it up i was writing in it if you guys can see um no highlighting through this though um just some underlining it was really cute i love the illustrations and everything that it offers which is everything to me and again i'm reviewing the book when i should just be telling you guys it was on my tbr next we have the book by sarah jakes which is colliding with destiny finding hope in the legacy of Ruth and I want to read this this month because I just love me some Ruth like the story of Ruth is like literally amazing to me I love the story of Ruth because it goes beyond just a romance between Ruth and Boaz there is so much depth to it especially the threshing floor scene is like my favorite and just who Boaz represents in the story of Ruth is amazing so I definitely wanted to read this book I've had it on my shelf for a long time I snagged this up I think when Christian book had their 99 cent sale um and it's a really thin book so I'm definitely interested in getting into this because I know there are a lot of other books from Sarah Jakes that I definitely want to read and she is just a powerhouse of a woman like powerhouse so this is on my tbr hopefully i can get to this next the last book on my tbr is a book that i'm actually currently reading and that is tony evans pathways um and it's from providence to purpose and this is basically going through the book of esther so i mean esther ruth why not but i'm actually quite enjoying this book um it is a bit of a slow start for me um i'm marking and things like that obviously but the prologue just kind of killed me because it was all about football and I'm not a football fan. Like, I'm not a football person at all. Um, so I'm currently on chapter two, I think. I'm not on. Yeah, I'm on chapter two. But I'm going back to um, go in with my colors. Because I was just underlining and writing my notes in. But um, so far, I'm really, really intrigued by this book. I'm really enjoying it. And um, I know there's a Bible study that goes with this. And there's also another book that kind of, I guess... I don't know if this is like a series, but there's one he has called Detours. I'll post the image here, and that one is on the story of Joseph, which I do have the ebook for that on my phone, actually. Um, so I am debating on reading that one after colliding with Destiny. We'll see. But um, this is the one that I'm currently reading right now. So that is it for my June wrap-up and my July reads. As far as what I'm studying, um, I'm just going to tell you now, I didn't study anything in my journaling Bible, uh, such as like uh, Mark psalms and joshua mm -mm. haven't been doing that just because i've been focused on the stuff that i have to do for class like my work um and my paper but i have been doing the jonah bible study that i said i wanted to do by priscilla shire and if you haven't seen that video where i did a study with me um doing i think day four in that you can check the click the item screen to watch that but um yeah that's pretty much it it is really desperately hot in my room right now because i can't have the fan on My toe is throbbing right now, and um, I know a lot of you guys have been telling me like, to, to relax and take it easy, but one thing about me is I, I'm, I'm a homebody. I love my house. I love staying in the house. I like sitting in my bed. I like being in my room. It's just something about being in my room and on my bed. 
when I have the choice to do so. But when you have to be put on bed rest, it's just like you don't want to sit down. I, I don't want to sit down. I've been food shopping. I've been to Walmart multiple times outside of just food shopping. I have just... I'm not listening because I don't like to, I don't like being forced to, to, to have to sit. It just, it irks me. Um, so it's kind of hard. I've gotten yelled at from my mother, my pastor, my bishop. <laughs> A few of you ladies have like messaged me and told me to relax. So even my son's father has like gotten at me because I'm not relaxing. And when I don't relax, my toe tends to throb. Um, so yeah, pray for me. Pain is not as bad. Um, some days are better than others. But uh, on weekends like this, when my son is with his father, I have the chance to really relax. So I was relaxing earlier, um, just lounging on the bed watching anime. But now I just, I need to get up and about. So that's why I made my little frappe. And you guys see me recording videos because, I, yeah. But what I'm going to do is get back on the bed. Get back into Pathways and, um... If you guys want to know my thoughts as I read this, just check out Instagram. I've been posting a lot more of my thoughts as I read books on Instagram. So, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, thank you guys for watching, rating, commenting, and subscribing. Subscribe if you aren't. Thumbs this video up and click the little bell to stay notified of any future videos that I post. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!